Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is the brand new decal set for War for Cybertron Earthrise Sunstreaker. And this decal set includes two decal sheets, both on vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Sunstreaker, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Sunstreaker is primarily yellow. Unfortunately, he's a two-toned yellow. You can see a different collar here on the roof and the back of the vehicle opposed to the rest of it. And that is due to the fact that these sections are painted where this is just yellow plastic. So fortunately, Toy Hacks is supposed to be able to fix this with these new yellow decals. He also has silver headlights right here on the front a black bumper, silver rims, a little bit of black detailing here on top along with the Tampa Graft Autobot logo, the silver engine intakes, and back of the vehicle has a black bumper as well. And that's pretty much it for Sunstreaker in vehicle mode. Another thing, I love the windows on Sunstreaker. Usually not a fan of the translucent plastic, but the designs underneath really look cool, so I'm going to give Sunstreaker a pass as far as his windows are concerned. So there is one final look at Sunstreaker in vehicle mode before. And after. Now the first decals you're probably noticing are the new black decals there on the side of Sunstreaker. You've got new black decals right here in this indentation and black racing stripes all along the bottom with that CR right there, which is a callback to Generation 1. On top of the engine, you have new decals here and in the center. And there's new red and black decals right here on the top. Moving into the back of the vehicle, he now has taillights and a license plate. I picked the one that says Sunstreaker. There is options right there. So all depends on how you want to have him licensed up in vehicle mode. Now let's take a look at the new yellow decals that go here on the roof and the back of the vehicle. Now I really don't notice that much of a difference. That may just be me, but I, I don't see anything. I like the attempt. I think it's a very clean look and I love the new Autobot logo with the white outline. But as far as really color matching the rest of the vehicle, I'm, I'm just not seeing it. And now for a G1 comparison, here is Transformers Earthrise Toy Hacks Sunstreaker with his Generation 1 counterpart. And you can see the similarities there with the black striping, though, man, my original Sunstreaker needs some new decals. Plus, you're not seeing things. I just added that smaller Autobot insignia because I forgot that the G1 had one as well. That's not on the official sticker map. You do get two different size insignias. So I just decided to really match up the G1 look. Also, I really wish Earthrise Sunstreaker came with the spoiler. The spoiler really makes the Lamborghini mode. Now I know there are some third party spoilers online because a friend of mine sent me a set for my Sunstreaker and man, does it make a world of difference in vehicle mode. So yes, if you can find a pair of those, highly recommend it. So there you go, guys. One final look at Earthrise Sunstreaker after. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Sunstreaker still carries over that two-tone look, though he does have some more black now to help break up all that yellow. He's got black here on the forearms, black down here on the shins, and paint applications on the head sculpt, blue eyes, chrome face, and yellow for the ears. He also has the 
Really cool windshield there on his chest now, the Tampagraft Autobot logo. Down here on the feet, you've got the bumper for the toes and the silver lights. He also has his engine as a weapon now, and to be honest, I hate this. I think that looks like a hairdryer, so I'm more partial to using a third-party weapon for Sunstreaker opposed to the one he came with. So there you go, guys. One final look at Sunstreaker in robot mode before and after. Sunstreaker's robot mode gets quite a few nice little details thanks to Toy Hacks. Starting here at the top, we've got new details here on the shoulder. Now there are options. You can do the red and black combo that I have right here, or you can do solid red. Now the original G1 toy had solid red upper shoulders, but since these are shown a lot in vehicle mode, I decided to go with the black and red to break that up more so it just wasn't an all red back for Sunstreaker's vehicle mode. Moving on down here to the forearms, you got these little yellow triangles. Down here on the waist, there is a black section here, black decals right there on the upper thighs, and gray and silver pieces for the knees. Down on the shins, be warned that these are not shown on the sticker map on toyhacks.com. You've got little decals right here on top of the shins that are gray and black. And down here on the bottom, you've got these gray, silver, and blue decals. So there those are right there. As I said, they're not on the sticker map. These little blue decals, however, are, but there's red decals in here or right there on the inside of the knee that are not shown on the sticker map either. Now, the yellow decal for the chest really doesn't look that bad in robot mode. So... I dig it. That's that's not too cool. Nice smooth look, except right there. I cleaned that so well and still got a little tiny air bubble. So I never can win with these giant decals. Now, as far as his hairdryer weapon, he gets some decals on the underside. He now has missiles. So instead of being a hairdryer, this is now a missile launcher. And if you look closely at those missiles, they look a lot like the Generation 1 Suns excuse me, the Generation 1 Sunstreaker missile. So I love that G1 throwback. And now for a G1 comparison, here is the Earthrise Toy Hacks Sunstreaker with his Generation 1 counterpart. And there you go, guys, Sunstreaker in robot mode after. Toy Hacks once again knocks it out of the park with the Generation throwbacks for an Earthrise figure. I love the small robot details they add to Sunstreaker and the black striping all along vehicle mode. Not a big fan of their attempt at color matching the two-tone look of the figure. I could take that or leave it because, as I said, I don't really notice much of a difference. I do, however, like Sunstreaker's hairdryer weapon attached to his back, which gives him a more G1 look, and highly recommend you guys check out the Toy Hacks Armory to get Sunstreaker a proper weapon. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!